off the coast of Africa, in the Indian Ocean, warships with futuristic silhouettes are cruising. Among them is the most valuable element of the French Navy, the giant, the aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle. The ship launches the Rafale into action, the latest generation of combat aircraft. It's a 40,000 ton ship, which carries around 30 aircraft made up of the Rafale, the Hawkeye, which is the early morning aircraft, and then helicopters to carry out logistics, transport, and to protect the aircraft in their takeoff and landing phases. An aircraft carrier transports aircraft which carry out missions of reconnaissance, no-fly zone enforcement, interception, bombing, anti-ship warfare, everything an aircraft is capable of. It is the largest ship in the French Navy, the 261 meters long and 64 meters wide. The Charles de Gaulle is the only surface ship with a nuclear propulsion system, which needs refueling just every seven years. The 12,000 square meter flight deck, equivalent to two football pitches, is home to around 30 Rafale aircraft and one Hawkeye, and its two steam catapults can launch its aircraft in just 15 minutes. I don't think there's anything more sophisticated than a warship. It's the largest object manufactured, constructed, made by humans that exists in the world. It's a tool that's very expensive to design and construct. It requires a huge amount of know-how in every aspect. It's the most accomplished tool from the technical and technological points of view. You could compare it today to the conquest of space. Thanks to the aircraft carrier, France can deploy its military power and defend its strategic interests anywhere in the world. No target is out of reach. The warship is a part of France that can go anywhere in the world. It's capable of cruising any ocean on the planet, reaching every continent and 80% of the population. When you have an aircraft carrier, you position it close to the coast. And with your aircraft, you can go a lot further, so you have a much greater ability to strike inland. The jewel of the French Navy is always accompanied by its escort. A minimum of six ships which make up the task force. An aircraft carrier is never alone at sea. It's surrounded by a whole armada which will allow it to escape from submarines or airborne threats, if there happened to be any. To protect the aircraft carrier, one anti-air frigate, two multi-purpose frigates specialized in anti-submarine combat, one replenishment oiler ship, and one nuclear attack submarine, which will be the fighter and protector of the task force. The danger can come from anywhere because Contemporary naval warfare is in three dimensions, surface, air, and underwater. And no ship can defend itself against these three dimensions. 